Leo, Mariah here. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're really, really well. So of course I wanna get into your reading and see what's happening in your life. You know, let's be a little nosy. I do wanna check things out and see what's going on. So I'm gonna leave the messages open and whatever comes out, we're just gonna get into it. So spirit guides, angels, ancestors, God, please let me know for Leo, what is it that they're needing to know in regards to their life at this time? What is the most important messages that Leo needs to know? Oh my God, it's the, the line from that movie. I think it's the five heartbeats. Ain't no one coming to see you, Otis. It's coming to my mind. It's coming to my mind. We got the world. We got the king of pentacles. We got the ten of cups. Five of swords. And let me have one more for Leo. Page of Cups in our verse Four of Pentacles. In somebody's story, you're Beyonce. In another person's story, you're Michelle. Meaning, in one person's story or just in a, another person's life, they can view you as somebody who is superior, amazing. They can see all the redeemable qualities in you and value that. And on the other side of that, you can have somebody that doesn't see your worth, that doesn't see your value, that doesn't hold you in the same regard as what they would view as their Beyonce. I know it may be a little abstract with the example here, but really what I'm trying to say to you, Leo, it feels like you're a person that has been the right package at the wrong doorstep. And the doorstep that you've been placed on maybe multiple times throughout your life or maybe this past season of your love life, it's like that person when opening you up, right? Or trying to open you up, didn't appreciate the qualities you had, didn't appreciate your spirit, or didn't value that in certain ways, which means they may have shown this through physical actions of whether they were inconsistent, not prioritizing you, not being considerate of you, um, not giving you that time and attention that you needed, not catering to your needs, desires and wants, or even respecting you and your boundaries. So it's like they may have not really appreciated all that you came with. And then you can have somebody who you're delivered at their doorstep they open that package, which is you, and they value the contents that are inside of that. They value your wisdom, your smarts, your spiritual connectivity. They can value your insight, your personality, uh, your smarts. I mean, there's so many things that we can look at that makes you you. But that's where this comes back to is that you, you've you dealt with people. It feels like how the old saying of we want what we can't have and what we don't want wants us. So you may have found yourself, whether this is cyclical, whether this is multiple patterns or reoccurrences of this, or maybe just a couple of times where the people that we wanted may have not wanted us and the people that wanted us, we didn't want. So it just feels like there's been a mismatch or imbalance in your love life, excuse me, with connecting with the person where we mutually want each other, we mutually want the same outcomes, we're mutually treating each other accordingly, and we're mutually working with each other on a day-to-day -day basis to build a relationship. Finding that middle ground, it seems to be difficult or have proven difficult to find that. To really find that, and specifically, just kind of a side message, not to go off on the cards, the, one of the reasons why I got the Beyonce and Michelle reference is because where you may live, the market that you live in, where you may live, the city, the town, the location, those people may not value you. For somebody, you may need to relocate to open up your options, to really open up your dating pool to the kind of men or women that would see value in you or that would appreciate you a bit more than the people that are that in, there in that city or that town. It may feel like for somebody, it's just a struggle to date in that city. It's a struggle to date in that town or find somebody that really values you excuse me, that really value you or really appreciate you. Um, and I feel like if you were to relocate and move elsewhere, maybe this is something that's already on your plan and itinerary. Maybe this is something you need to consider by moving somewhere else where who you are, how you look, how your energy is, is more appreciated. I think you would have a better outcome in your love life because you would be viewed and appreciated much more than where the people you're at the you know because for this it feels like the people you're at they're very low vibrational kind of backstabby it's like the crabs in the bucket mentality you know they don't want other people to get ahead um so you may deal with a lot of negative or 
piss poor people as far as behavior wise um in a location that you may live in and it's just proven to be like it's hard to date there it feels like somebody lives in a city or town or location that it's just hard to date it's just too difficult um so just as a side message somebody may need to relocate or even just a brief travel if you can't relocate going elsewhere and seeing the other options because I feel like if you were to go somewhere else even if it's on travel you will see that you are treated like the Beyonce I keep I, I know I keep referencing this but I'm so sorry it feels like you would be treated like the Beyonce in a new location versus where you're at and it's like you need that experience to remind yourself that you are somebody that's desirable you are somebody that is worthy of love you are somebody that other people would desire to be with but just where you're naturally located it's just not there for you. It's almost like you you need that refresher to show you, you are that Leo, you are that amazing man, you are that amazing woman. There are people who would love to be with you and actually do right by you, but where you're at, not so much. So that's just kind of a side message here. Um, I didn't mean to get off on that tangent. I'm so sorry here, Leo. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. I'm hearing like a, ghost past so uh, it almost feels like energetically i'm picking up on three different energies i feel like i'm looking at picking up somebody that you've dealt with who treated you like the michelle I, again this is probably going to be the analogy throughout this reading but it's the best way to describe the energy somebody who treated you like michelle where they treated you as second fiddle they put you on a back burner they didn't see your worth and value and they just handed you without care it, to whatever degree then it feels like you got somebody that's lurking in the shadows that is hidden their energy is hidden but they're watching you they're observing you and they see you as that beyonce but i don't think you're paying attention to them so this may be somebody that it feels like either they're an acquaintance to you you know of them to some degree or even if they're in secret it's like you two have some kind of contact with each other so maybe you two are on each other's social media maybe this is like a mutual friend somebody who knows somebody and it feels like with them they see your worth and value but i think they feel overlooked by you i don't know if you are maybe you're not attracted to them it could be that you know they're attracted to you but you're not attracted to them maybe you know you may be a little picky and it's like you know when you look at this person they just don't really hit the mark for you but this just energetically i, mean, I ain't even on a cause i'm just feeling through the energy just energetically this feels like somebody who would actually really do right by you because they see your value and for them you're a hot commodity so in your eye in their eyes it's like Leo is amazing. Leo is stunning. Leo is handsome. Leo is gorgeous. You know, who wouldn't who wouldn't do right by Leo? Who wouldn't take care of Leo? Who wouldn't? This is somebody who would love the ground that you walk on, that would kiss the ground that you walk on. Not literally, but I mean, somebody who desires you, they will be very attentive to your needs, which lets me know, just as I'm going through the energy, you may be somebody that's a little bit out of their league with how much they admire you. You may be, whether you're prettier or handsomer than the men or women that they normally attract, whether you have a certain status or finan financial acclaim in life where you know they see that as like, oh my God, to get Leo, that would be amazing. Or even how you handle yourself, how you carry yourself, the man or woman that you are, how you operate in the world. It's like that's somebody that they're not used to dealing with, that they wanna deal with. So you may be, I'm sorry, you may be out of this person's league. I don't feel like you're far out of their league, but it feels like you you, you kind of, because I can see them looking up at you, just visually as I'm going through the energy, I can see them looking up at you. So you may be out of their league a little bit here, but also too, um, it feels like you got a future person in your vicinity. So I don't know if this is, if you are in a relationship, if this is the person that you're dealing with right now, or if this is the person that is coming down the line, but this is somebody that feels like they're going to see the Beyonce that you are. They're going to see the value that you bring. They're going to acknowledge that and they're going to desire that. Uh, I just, I'm curious as to why though I'm feeling your past here. I'm, I'm getting three separate people around your energy. Somebody you're not dealing with that didn't see your value, but I think because you're shining, Leo, you are on the up and up and on the accord of developing your life. Maybe you are putting your energy into the gym. Maybe you're putting your energy into work, your finances, getting your mind, your body, your soul and spirit right. And they're able to either energetically feel that, 
Okay, Leo's going and doing their own thing, whether they can observe you or find out about what you got going on through mutual parties. But for their energy to be here, especially if they treated you like a Michelle, they, their energy shouldn't be here, right? They should be moved on and living their best life and going on about their day if they didn't value you. But yet, their energy is still in your presence, which means that lets me know they're orbiting around you because they can see what's around you. They can see what you're doing. They can see how your energy is moving in a certain direction now and how you really have been putting that energy back into yourself and breathing life and breathing love into yourself. And I think this is making this person, it almost feels like jealousy to a degree because I don't think this person thought that you would get better than the place you were at when you met them. I don't think this person thought that you would rise above or even further develop than the place you were at when you met them. So to either have an energetic inkling or being able to physically see like, okay, Leo is on the up and up. It almost feels like somebody's having to eat their words. Somebody is having to eat their own thoughts that they placed on to you, right? Their, their perception of you became the reality of you, which was never your reality. How they viewed you, how they treated you was never in association to who you truly are at your core. So now seeing the two being a mismatch where how they viewed you and thought you were, but actually where you're at right now, now it's like, damn, I should have bought in when that's, oh my God, I don't want to be offensive when I say this. Please don't take this the wrong way. I, I, again, I'm just going off the energy. I didn't even get to the, really the reading yet. Um, don't take this the wrong way. It feels, it feels like, because I, I just heard it in my mind, I should have bought in when she was Michelle or I should have bought in when he was Michelle. So it's like this person felt like they should have really got in with you or at least treated you accordingly when you were not the man or woman that you are today because now they see where you are today and that's what they want. And I don't think that's what they can really find out in their reality. And it's like, damn, I had that, but if I just would've did Leo a little right or been patient with Leo or stuck around Leo and we could've really grew together, I would be experiencing Leo where Leo is at at this level. But instead, I'm having to eat my words. So somebody's a little salty around you. Somebody, I feel like somebody's a little salty. Somebody's a little jealous, but this feels past tense. It does because they didn't, they should invest it. They should invest it in you when they had the chance and they didn't. Then again, I go to this middle energy of somebody watching and observing you. I don't know if you're not just feeling them or if you're picky towards them, but it's like they, there is a longing for you. There's a longing for your energy. And I think if they had the chance, if you give them the chance, this would be somebody that will not only sweep you off your feet and sweep you right into a commitment, but this would be somebody who you know that kind of love that we really desire for somebody and maybe everybody has their own differences of love and what they expect of it but somebody that really goes above and beyond and really treats us like that king or queen that we are because that's what this feels like this is that person that will treat you like the king or queen that you are but it's it's because they feel like they would have to, not only because of how they feel towards you, but because they look at you as a star. They look at you as somebody unique. They look at you as a hot commodity. So with you, they know that they have to step correctly because for them, this is kind of like one of those once in a lifetime, maybe twice if you're God's favorite kind of moments for them where you don't meet somebody like this and have a chance to be able to pursue them and be with them. So. For them to be so stuck on their energy, even if they try to go look at new options, try to go date and deal with other people, their soul comes back to you because I think for them and you, there's some kind of subconscious past life contract here. Doesn't mean that contracts we have with past life spirits and souls are always played out in this lifetime. They're not, not all of them. But I do think you two have a past life contract together. I think this person is meant to show you how you deserve to be loved. Even if that connection between you and this mystery person only lasts for a season, it's still an anchoring point for when you meet new people after them, how you deserve to be treated, how you deserve to be loved. And maybe we either need that refresher because we have not been treated how we deserve to be treated it in some time or we need to experience that excuse me or we need to experience that because we have not experienced that in a long time if ever so dealing with this person again they're in your vicinity I just think you may overlook them or you just may be like eh, I ain't really sure about them I'm cool or like maybe you're just not feeling them or um, maybe they haven't made it clearly known that they're feeling you like this you may not be fully sure you may be like um is they feeling me or are they not feeling me I think they genuinely are um, but again, even if it's not a lifetime, the way that they're going to love on you, adore you, adorn you and appreciate you, that's what your soul, that's what it feels like on the soul level it's needing. 
it's needing to be catered to it's needing to be watered it's needing to be nurtured um and again the people that we want may not be wanting us in the same way or the people that want us we're not wanting them so we're still going with that deprived energy of not having our soul really watered and this is that kind of person that will do that and i think that's a part of your contract even if it only lasts between y'all two for a month you need that experience your soul is needing that experience and that's where your contract lies with this person now it feels like you got a future person this is why I don't like channeling love messages because it's just a lot. I'm getting hot and I'm starting to sweat. <laughs> Give me a second, Leo. Future person, what it feels like with them is somebody that's coming into your vicinity. They see you, your value and they see your worth. I just don't know how that plays out. So let me look into that for you here between you and this future person. Now, mind you, you could be with this future person or maybe this is somebody that's coming your way. But tell me, spirit. Um... What is this person's intentions towards Leo? Whew. Yeah, see, this is why y'all don't really get no channel love messages, because that's it takes a lot. It takes a lot. I start sweating. I, I, I'm dying over here, Lord. We got the two of swords, the queen of cups, and the strength. Mm. Tell me why is this two of swords here? For what this person's intentions would be with Leo, this new person. I love that the Queen of Cups is here. Page of Swords. They're not gonna make any move unless you're comfortable with it. They're not gonna overstep. They 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 do value you and they appreciate you and they don't want to. Um, they don't want to turn you off. That's a big thing for them. They don't want to turn you off. They don't want to do anything that can make you feel guarded or to make you feel unsafe with them. So I don't think this is somebody that's wanting to be sexually forward with you. This is not somebody that's trying to make advances towards you. They don't want to give you the energy that they're coming at you like a F boy or a F girl. They don't want that vibe. They actually want to really get to know you. They want to understand your emotional waters. They want to understand the depth. They want to know what made you you. Who made you? How did you become who you are? Why are the Why are you the way you are? Why do you think the way? This is somebody that's very intrigued by your emotional proudness and your emotional depth, but also your intellect. So they'll rather they'll rather seduce and foreplay with your mind and your emotions versus your body. They this is somebody that wants to really know you, um, and it's not superficial and this doesn't feel lighthearted. But again, they don't want to turn you off. So this is somebody that will be patient and that will take their time with you and will allow you to kind of steer the ship here. It's like they will only go as far with you as you feel comfortable with. So if you give them kind of the indicator or the signal for, hey, you know, you want a little more or, hey, you're OK with being sexually for then that's when they're going to follow you. It's like you're taking the lead here, which you're Leo, right? Typically, y'all take the lead anyway, you know, but they're really going to allow you to take the lead. And they're going to step up and follow. So I want to see. Let me see how you feel about this person. How does Leo feel about this person? Let me see. How will Leo feel about this person? We have the Ten of Wands. Temperance in the reverse. And we also have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse with the High Priestess. Will of Fortune. It's about damn time. That's the song from Lizzo that's coming to my mind. It's about damn time. I think because you've been through a lot. And you've been through the motions in your dating life or in your romantic life um you're not easily swept away by somebody's words you're not easily swept away by somebody's advances you know just doing what you should do to court or pursue is not going to get you going it's like you have to have that spiritual you got to know where this person stands spiritually or even religiously for some of you right but you got to know that they got a, a core base that they have values that they have morals that they do have a silent code that they live their life by in a integral way um before you even commit and really start to take them seriously. So it almost feels like, I don't wanna say you're playing or toying with them because I don't get that, but it almost feels like you're watching and seeing, right? Just like, just like a lion, you're just watching and seeing, you're seeing how they move it. What they give you, you'll give back, but you're not gonna put the cart before the horse with your emotions and say, okay, this is the one, let's do it. Even though, of course, we can have a little bit of impulsivity within us, especially when we want, we're feeling somebody, we want things to go. But I think because of what you've been through, you've learned to kind of pace yourself, you know, or at least not show your emotions or your excitability too much in front of a person. It's like you, you kind of process things in silence and with yourself. And then when you feel comfortable and safe to really let it out, then you really let it out because you know how you are with your loyalty. When you are devoted and loyal to someone, Leo, one thing I'll tell you about all the 12 Zodiacs, 
y'all feet get stuck in the cement. When you are deadlocked in with somebody or your loyalty is tied in with somebody, you don't move. You are very unwavering until you are forced to move, whether you have to force yourself or life forces you. So I don't think, because I think you know how deeply you get attached to somebody, you're just not willing to put your, I was about to say life on the line. You're not willing to put your emotions on the line um, until somebody is proven worthy of that. Um, can you tell me how does this play out between Leo and whoever this is? How does this play out? So Leo, you got three people in your energy. You got a past person. You're probably not paying them any mind, to be honest. Um, you got a, you got a, uh, current person that's kind of shrouded in mystery a little bit or just kind of hidden. Um, whether you know this person or not, they do want you. I just think you're kind of overlooking them. I don't know. I don't, for whatever reason, you're just kind of like you're into them, but like, not like that. You know, they may be cool people and that's about it for you, but they really want you. Like they're really on your ass. Like they want you. And then you got this future person, which in the outcome, we got the 10 of Pentacles, two of wands and the justice. So what will you do? What will you do? Because this could actually develop into a fruitful relationship if you want it to. Um, this can actually develop into somebody that you build roots with or that you're you're dealing with for a long time, for a very long time, even if it don't end up in marriage, which more than likely with that Justice Ten of Pentacles, Two of Wands, it probably will, but you have to make the decision on if you even want to take that route with this person. But this is somebody you have a family with, kids with, or just build, have stability, if anything else, even if it don't make it to the end of the rainbow, just somebody that you can rely on, somebody that's dependable, somebody that's loyal, responsible, sensible, somebody that is devoted and devout to you in this relationship, and that's willing to put in the effort to grow it long-term. You got that at the, at the bare base minimum with this person. So I think it's gonna be up to you to choose what you want, but I think whether we're still in a phase of still seeking out options or looking what's available to us, it's like they're here, but it's almost like, do I want this? Do I wanna choose this? And I don't see this person giving you any reason not to, this new person, but there's, maybe we're still wanting to see. Maybe we might think the grass is greener on the other side. Maybe we got some options and we don't want to fully settle on this yet. Maybe we need to see some changes before we make a decision on this person. So you, it's they want it with you. The choice is going to be yours if you accept a relationship with them. I just know that they want you. For certain. <laughs> so Leo, I hope this made sense. I hope this helped and resonate. You got a choice here for you. I think it's a good choice. Um, but you take care. You be well. And by, oh wait, before I go, link in the description box. I cannot, I cannot leave without saying it. Link in the description box if you want a private reading. Now I will let you go. Bye, Leo.